Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. On the last episode, we went to the Great Barrow and faced Sambrock. We were able to escape with the help of Tom Bombadil. Now we need to go back to the Prancing Pony and let's try to know what has happened. We're gonna go there through the Barrow Downs once again because we have still this quest from the Wandering Shade. Uh, we need to turn this in and if memory serves me right, he will send us back to Bree to talk to his brother after this one. And this is a side quest, a quest line that I have always liked, so let's complete it as well. I mean, I think it's it's really fun having the, the shade roaming through the south part of Bree, so I always do that. And after that, yeah, we will get to the pony. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, some fragments for scholar quests. Uh, South Barrow Downs we're not gonna visit. Ah, this guy did also give us some quests. How can I be of service? Treasures of Cardolan. But I think that's what part exactly of the Barrow Downs is this one in? I don't remember. It says search the northern barrow for an ancient chest. Ah yeah, I remember that. Okay, we can do both quests and then head to the pony. What do we have here? We have Bagging Spirit Day and Celebrate Spring. But right now I'm not interested in running any festivals. I think Bagging's birthday was activated today for the weekend in honor of Ian Holm, who sadly has just passed away today. Or at least I got the news today. And to be honest, I... I haven't watched many other movies where he participates in. I remember him on, on The Fifth Element, uh, which was really fun. But yeah, I, I know him mostly for his role as Bilbo, which he did perfectly, so it's sad to know he has passed away and he will be deeply missed. So it's a nice gesture on the Lotro team's part to to have Baggins Birdie taking place in his honor. Okay, and here we are. That's the chest we need. We have the ancient journal and we can get this back to Tobble Leaf Carter. So let's get in the horse and and do this really quick. What else do we have here? I also have a silver and gold of it present. I usually open the gold present on my highest level character to get the best day reward possible. I'm not sure if that's how Hobbit presents work right now, but it, it's worked so far, so I'm, I'm tempted to open it right now, but not sure. I'm gonna think what about can it. can I do for you? Ah, you found something. Many of the pages are missing, but perhaps I can glean something from those which remain. Ah, this is almost too terrible to read. The author, a man of Cardolan, tells how those few of Cardolan who remain died in a great plague borne along by dark clouds from the east. Soon after, fell spirits swept down from the north. The man writes of tormenting dreams that followed, dreams of a place called Ankmar. Soon after, the dead walk the land once more. In the last entry, the man writes that he fears that he too will succumb to the plague, but that his body will never know rest. How I wish I had remained ignorant of those cursed lands, yet, no, yet now I find I must know more. If you ever find more pages of this journal, bring them to me. Perhaps in this knowledge, a defense against these spirits can be learned. 
Okay, maybe. Will you give me a moment of your time? Ah, uh, yes, this is for the Great Barrow. Well, unless I find a group which I'm not so sure if I can. I I don't see myself completing this quest. So let's move on. Let's leave it as it is. My question was if this was in some way related to the Journal of Cardland did that we are still missing. We are missing just page 5 to complete that did. But I don't think we will kill more whites as part of the story and we are leaving the Barrow Downs. I don't think we will return anytime soon. I don't know, let's see what the Wandering Shade has to tell us. Still a... Ah, uh, Jesus, a rat. Let's kill it really quick. Still I linger, one foe remains. In the south he rose from an earthen grave, one's flesh and whole now bonds depraved by spirits seeking a home. A man of bones left neath cardland stone, rising once, struck low, by oathed brothers now sunder twain. Brothers cursed return again to face this foe from whom they stole, for this mo did's most noble in intent. Whilst evil walks, so too will we. Seek you he beyond the border, south towards stone, the land of cardland, his bones there still roam. And I think that one is... yeah... Ah, uh, maybe later. I want to progress the story and move towards the Longlands. So let's map to the pony. Yes, I know, Garlic. I also want to leave this place. So back to the pony it is. Oh, this was not gonna say a detour, but it was really a lot of time outside of Ray, like three or four episodes to be able to do all this. But now we're here. The door to Strider's room is locked, so we'll need to talk to Barleyman Butterboard and see what has happened to Strider. And I always get lost. In this part of the pony. Let's see. Oh, so much to do. Oh, hello there again. I was so busy that I didn't see you, but there is never a moment's peace here, if I may say so. I was so worried that he'd sour my beer for letting Mr. Um, Underhill and his friends go off with that ranger. He who? Oh, why, that would be Mr. Gandalf, of course. They say he's a wizard or some such, and I'll say there must be something to those tales, for my beer's never been better. He was so pleased. Begging your pardon, but I do run on sometimes. Gandalf said to send anyone looking for Strider up to his room. It's up the stairs just beyond Strider's room. But yeah, this is one of the last uh, remaining pieces of the old quest designs of the early days of Lotro, like the door is closed. See why the doors closed and then go back. On uh, today's standards, something will send us through this door right away without the need of the back and forth. Not necessarily worse or better, just a different why do you disturb me? design. You are lost or sick me with intent. By the look in your eye, I gather the latter. Do I also sense you sought another? A strider perhaps? Then we have both come too late. Our mutual friend has left, bearing with him a terrible burden. I am Gandalf the Grey, a friend of Strider's. If you set you to a task, it could not be much less urgent than his own. Tell me your tale, and I will deliver it to him. So Angmar arises. It is grim news, but I am not surprised. Nevertheless, I cannot turn aside from my own task, for the fate of all Middle-earth hangs upon it. This burden I place upon you in the name of the free peoples of Middle-earth, Hinder the Witch King's plans, if you may. Whether east or north, I bid you good fortune. Farewell. 
I need your assistance. Perfect. So that was book one of the Shadows of Angmar. Let's begin with book two. <clears throat> you have done much good for the people of Brilland, but the shadow of the shadow out of Angmar is spread far and wide. I have learned from way here the Windlord that another of my order has found corruption in the Lonelands east of Bree. It may even be related to the dangers you encounter in the Great Barrow. Unfortunately, Radagast is given to wandering and will be difficult to find. I would ask that you enlist the assistance of the rangers in finding his location. There is one here in Brilland, Saeradan, who will be able to aid you. Head out of Breed through the west gate and turn north along the greenway. Seek Saeradan at his cabin on the east side of the greenway across from Turnley's work site. Alright, now that's a really good outfit. Brook looks really nice. So let's go and find Saeradan. If you remember from one of the previous episodes, uh, we received a letter from Saeradan a while ago. And we also have a couple of quests uh, on the northern area of Bree, helping Greenbrier. So we can do this all real quick. As you see, before going to the Lonelands, we'll need to be level 21 or 22. And we're still a little bit uh, below that mark. So we're gonna do the last batch of questing in Brilliant and then Continue on to the Lonelands. So some of the bandits that are camped in this northern area of Bree are already foreshadowing a little bit what's gonna happen in this Carrying of the Shire. Something that I didn't realize the first time I played this portion of the game, but now that I have become aware of this, is a really little quest line that I like to do, but I don't remember which one of these two guys will give it to us. Ah, here. What do you need? I am short of officers, newcomer. If you are here to aid me in my fight against the outlaws in the Briefields, I welcome you without reservation. My friend Lofar may have need for you as well. Okay, at some some point we will talk to Butterbor, but Could not you do yet. Something for me? My job is to guard Bree. I don't have the men to waste patrolling the countryside, but of late I've had reports of brigand raids near and around the town, so I've moved to this location to keep closer watch. I need someone to look into these rumors, and I've, co and I've coined to spare for anyone willing to help. There have always been a few outlaws in the hills and dales north of town, but it seems that recently they've grown both more numerous and more bold. If you can find out what is going on, it would be appreciated. Careful though, once these outlaws would flee any art man, but now they are more prone to attack without warning. The farm across the road seems to be overrun by the brigands. You could start your investigation there. So we're gonna start investigating Sharky. Hear me out, traveler. And this quest line for the dwarf blade, I think, is just regular brigands and not Sharky. So we're gonna stick with this one, really. So we're gonna kill some of these brigands. And I think we're gonna... yeah. A medallion here. That we'll need to get back to Chief Watcher Rimbriar. Let's move real quick towards it. Okay, 
was checking if cosmetic pets have swimming animations and sadly they don't. How can I be of service? Since when are outlaws able to afford such things as medallions? Even the constables don't have badges, and who is this sharky fellow anyway? This is very disturbing. Your find seems to suggest an organization that we haven't seen before in these brigands. Would you do something for me? I have a spy among the brigands who may be helpful in divining the true nature of this sharky. I will send him a message instructing him to come to a certain hill not far from here. Meet him there and ask him about Sharky and his plans. The meeting's place is by a great rock in a small stand of trees directly north of Britain. If my spy has no news to share, we will need to find another means of learning Sharky's plans. Alrighty then, I think this rock here-ish should be the one we're looking for. There he is. What do you need? We must be quick. I think they suspect something. Wait, what's the sound? Look out, here they come! Oh no, I've been followed by Sharky's men. Here they come. Please fight them off. Oh, where are they? Thanks, I hope these notes I prepared are helpful. Helpful. I better get out of here. Tell Greenbrier I'm done with this business for good. Okay, I will tell him, and what does the note say? Since Sharky's men have come up from the south and taken over, the local brigands have changed from being common thieves and robbers into something more like a small army. Dirty and ill-equipped though they are, by combining their numbers they may be stronger than any of town guards. The brilliant brigands of past times might have been crude and dirty outlaws, but they were still men of grief for the most part, with their relatives in towns and farms of the region, so they weren't all that inclined to heedless violence. But now, Sharky's men have changed everything. No dissent or squeamishness is permitted, and under their brutal fists, the brigands of the country have become far more dangerous. It seems that Sharky's men are gathering their forces for some important task, and I am afraid they intend no simple thieving. It may be they mean to take over all of Brilliant. I know little of these men from the south. They are almost all ill-favored brutes, but they are well-armed and skilled fighters. They do not trust the native Brilliant outlaws with their secrets, but they revere a leader they call Sharky. I am sure that Sharky is not yet in Brilliant, but it may be that he will come soon. Where do these men come from, and where is Sharky now? I do not know this for sure, for I have never traveled beyond Brilliant and do not know the Southlands. But these men... These men sometimes speak of a play place called Isengard. They come from beyond Andrad, maybe as far as Dunland. It seems from what I have overheard that they are rivals with some band they call the Iron Crown, but I know even less of this. Interesting information for various I gotta say. Greetings. This is dire news. I suppose it was too much to expect that it would all turn out to be some minor brigand leader's dreams of lordship. Well, I should not blame you for doing what I sent you to do, though it is a pity you did not return with better tidings. I think I know our next step in this action, but it's a grim task I will send you to perform. Let's get the links. Stay a moment. Now listen here, I am not going to invite the aid of those rangers out of the wild. The men of Bree are capable of defending their townlands from the threats they face and we will not rely on strange folk for assistance. This information speaks of the captain who led the raid on Duckwood's farm and his current location. We have a chance to strike a telling blow against these brigands and find out more about them. It appears that the leader established a camp within a thick copse of trees behind the knoll to the west. The knoll in question is to the south of Duckwood's farm. Let us strike this blow for the man of Brilliant. There we go. So yeah, a lot of great information in that letter, especially for Beriathan as he is well familiar with 
where Isengard is located and might be able to connect the dots. So, yeah, not all good is in Isengard, and now Berithan knows. Here we have the leader to take care of. Collected the brigands note, okay. We'll check that, that those notes in a minute. Right now though, there is not much Brethan can do from this information about Isengard. Uh, he is really far away and he won't be coming that way for a long time. So he will need to leave this on other hands. Sharky has ordered that we all immediately step up our activities around Bree. No traders must move without paying off our people, and all the farmers must give us all the food we need. Forget about guards and garrisons, they are nothing to us anymore. Let the constables huddle in Bree and arch it so long as we own the roads and fields. Andrath is already ours. We will soon have all the land between here and our encampment at Brigand's Watch. Soon we will have all of Rayland in flames. And there is one more thing. The boss is interested in some hobbit named Baggins. Certain riders have been sniffing around asking for that name and you should look out for it too. If you find any hobbit named Baggins, let me know at once. How can I be of service? We have them now. This information proves that this sharky fellow is intent on establishing a strong foothold here in Brilland. It also tells us of their largest encampment outside of the Vale of Andrat at a place west of here that they call the Brigand's Watch. The brigand captain there passes orders out to his lieutenants that come directly from Sharky. If we can get those notes... Would you do something for me? With your help, we draw ever closer to shutting out this upstart, Sharky. We are closing in more and more on his location and the size of his force. We now know that the brigand's watch to the west of here in the foothills of Brigan of Brilland is a staging ground for future assaults. The brigand's captain hands out orders from Sharky himself to his lieutenants. Likely they are kept somewhere safe, a lockbox or even on his person. We need those orders. Head to the brigand's watch and get those orders. Brigand's watch. Let's ride a horse. So this is... A portion of the game that I sometimes get confused with because these little brigands encampments on this area of the map there are many quests that will uh, will lead you there for example we had this one for Shark's plan but we also have at some Brunmore that we did on a previous episode and I think a low far quest line the one that he gives us by Greenbriar's hut will also get us to meet another guy who will ask us to rescue his daughter. So there are many different ways in which you can come to face the brigands in this area or around this area. Um, so I, I've always struggled a little bit in finding an optimal way of doing this quest but since we are only doing this one for the moment we should be okay okay let's lift the dot to kill that Enemy. And there it is. Can we pull these guys here? And over here, this is the brigand captain, right? Yeah. I believe this is the one. Maybe he wasn't, I don't know. But it's always nice killing these, these guys. I think these guys 
was for another quest. The brigand leader that we are looking for is actually here. Perfect. And we got the letter. What does the letter say? And more importantly, can we jump? I don't see any reason why we... Just gotta be really careful. I don't like... I wouldn't like any broken legs, but... That was great. Now... To the letter. As you know, we've had some problems getting enough men to accomplish Sharky's plans for Brilliant and the Shire. All of Sharky's best, you and me accepted, are occupied in the south. What we got here ain't quite strong enough to take on the townsfolk straightforward. Fortunately, we've been given an opportunity. Orcs have come as far south as the Greenway, even. My friend says Sharky ain't on the best terms with them up in the north, but some of the orcs who've come out south in Brilliant have been cut off. These orcs down here might be convinced to join us. Of course, Sharky knows how to deal with orcs, and these scouts from the north are no doubt in a bad way, since they can't get any new supplies or warriors. This could be just the turn of luck we've been looking for. Treat the orc scouts well and tell your men not to interfere with them or you'll be responsible for them being dead and all. Bill. That would be Bill Fernie, I believe. Alright, ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, this completed deadly insult. I missed it. And five Lotro points. When did we get it? Ah, as soon as we defeated the captain. So that's why I didn't see it. What can I do for you? Moral news. Orkman, could this be? This letter says it plainly enough. Sharky has a legion of half orcs loyal to him that he is sending to Andrat. I have doomed my men. Okay. Let's get the atlas. A moment. Yes. Let me just give me a minute here. So your level has changed to twenty. Completed the undying. Thank you. And completed smoke before the fire. Ah, this is for the skirmish tutorial. And what we have here, diminish target and steadfast. Steadfast will go over here, diminish target will go over here. I don't know, I, I'm still looking for a way of getting this in a good old way. What do we have here? Audacity, adept, carving use, shield spike use, fire use, critical defense. Okay. So now, Greenbrier will send us to the Vale of Andrat. This is another quest line that I really like, and the one I usually use to, to roleplay my character is getting his gear back. But as I was explaining to you on a previous episode for Beriathan and moving forward, it makes more sense roleplaying this on the chat with brigands. So we're not gonna go to Andrat right now. Could I speak with you a moment? Okay. This is a quest that I should have gotten before going to the brigands camp, but now that I missed it, I don't think I will. So smoke before the fire. Yeah, this is the skirmish tutorial. What we also have in here... The Undying. That's great, finally getting that out of my head. And the title, you have been requested to join the Free Peoples in the war against encroaching darkness, that's the skirmish recruit. 
and the Undying here. You have reached 20th level without being defeated in battle. But we're gonna stay for now with our Heritage title. We have unlocked the Great Barrow instances, Road to Erebor, and some of the basic skirmishes, I believe. Anyway, it's time now to go to Zairadan. And in the meantime, let me check. Oh, we're only missing seven whites to get our racial deed. But I think we can get this in Lowlands. It will take a little bit longer, but there's no hurry. As this uppercut is really not so good as skill, in my opinion. So we have tier two class deeds. Almost done, we're only missing shield trickery. Two uses of shield bus. That should be easy enough. A uh, skillful blocking here and find weakness we have not discovered yet. Strike with goat. We're almost there. Uh, depth strike, not so much, and defensive strike as well. How can I be of service? It is good to finally meet you, Goryathan. Your efforts in this land restores hope where it is needed most. I only hope that we can lean upon you for more assistance. We must work diligently to undo the harm that has been wrought on this lands. I pray that we are not too late in beginning our efforts. What can I do for you? Your reputation precedes you. We are well aware of your efforts here in Brilliant and abroad. We, the Rangers of the North, thank you for all you have done. I wonder though, are you willing to aid us ever more? Are you willing to stand against foes that have long risen up against the men of Middle Earth? Threatening to tear us out by our roots and make this world over in the grim visage of evil. I think you are willing and able. It is for this reason that I ask you to make your way north along the greenway to the place where a pass cuts towards the eastern hills. There, in the ruins of the greenway fort, you will find one of my brethren. His latest reports tell me of a great danger growing out of the north and he is in need of much assistance. Thornless farm. Okay, I think we can do this too. The Thornleys, farmers and workers of this land for many generations, have been spared much danger from the brigands. Word has reached me, however, that the patriarch of the family has gone missing as he went to deal with foes out of the north. If you are willing, I would ask that you visit Rose Thornley to the west at her home and ask after the well-being of her husband. And the forward. Uh, we'll leave that there and advance that later. In the meantime, let's go to uh, Thornley's farm. Completed shield trickery. Great! And one class trait point. This is awesome. Five Lotro points and one class trait point. For completing the class deeds tier 2. And the skirmish mail. As darkness creeps across the stricken lands of Middle Earth, none are safe from the peril in the east. Skirmish camps have appeared throughout the lands as rallying points for those who will stand together to fight a shadow. Stout soldiers gladly lend their weapons, but they lack a leader. What hero will answer the silence? I beseech you to visit one of our skirmish camps and speak with its captain. Camps can be found in towns throughout Middle Earth, such as Bree, Thornton's Hall, Rockingborings, Estaldin, and many others. Under your banner, we shall follow your command. Hope is not yet lost for the free peoples if a warrior of your class stands with us. I hope that one day we shall stand together on the field of battle. The skirmishes await your sword. Ildenion, the skirmish captain of the North Downs. We're gonna take the quest. Uh, but I may do this tutorial off camera, as I don't think we will miss much if I do so. What 
you need? Rob has gone missing, but how do you how do you know it is? Are you one of those southerners looking to steal this place? You'll find that we're harder than the land we live on. No, you're not, are you? Send them by the rangers. Never did trust them much, skulking about in cover of night, never talking proper like. But I must admit a feeling of gratitude lately. List why since Rob's gone missing. Rob went out with his father's sword trying to scare off those British men from the north. He left a few days back and has yet to come home. I am running out of excuses to tell the workers. Please, will you find him? Uh, yeah. So Andrake is gonna send us that way too. That's why I'm getting this quest. And I'm getting Andrake's quest because I think it is nice to get acquainted with all the rangers. After all, they share the bloodline with Briothan. Not directly, maybe, but close enough, I would say. So, here's Andre. What can I do for you? Saeradan is a man of his word, as am I. Your arrival comes at a critical moment. There is much work to do and too few of us here to complete all that must be done. Perhaps we will slow the progress of this foe by our combined efforts. This at least is a good hope to have. Stay a moment. I have been watching the movement of works crossing into Brilliant from the North Downs and fear that before we move to assist those besieging the North Downs, we must first strengthen the borders here. I have seen the orcs making their way south throughout the pass near Trestle Bridge to small encampments on the east side of the Greenway. It is there I must first send you to fight back the enemy and lay them low. You will find the orcs north of this location to the east of the Greenway. Return to me when this deed is complete. What I take a moment of your time. Though it brings me no pleasure, and I hope that you find nothing in your investigations, I must ask you to complete a grisly task while you purge the orcs from Brilliant. The orcs have come from the North Downs, and the simplest trail of them to follow will have been through the beleaguered town of Trestlebridge. I would ask that you search the orcs that you fell for signs of a struggle against the people of the North Downs in the form of clothes made by men. Should you find anything of the sort, return it to me here at my post. So plenty of stuff for us to do. Now I think here in these ruins, are we gonna find anything about the Dunedain history? I really don't remember, but there's a broken urn, so... It's still good to to make this little detour. I think in maybe before the next episode or the next one. Oh my god. Where did this guy come from? So I was saying for this episode or the next one it would be good or I would like to advance my crafting a little bit. Oh, we got a new deed. Great. I think it's time to start trying more... ...skills and more gambits and see if we can unlock more deeds. As I was saying, I would like to advance my crafting before going into Longlands. Or close there. Because at some point we're gonna start getting or finding expert notes. So I would like to be ready for that moment. And uh, what did we have? Block attacks. So we have skillful blocking. <laughs> the still really low and now efficient shit work, which is even longer. So I think those two deeds are gonna take us quite a while. But now we can go to the north, look for the orcs. Get moving. Okay. 
Now, something else I would like to check. Ah, all these things we have gotten. A necklace. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna equip that. The skirmish request. Armor. I think I'm good on that regard as well. What I was gonna do was, I think, equip the stone of the tortoise. So I don't want to outlevel the Lonelands before even getting there. And these quests we are doing right now are already blue. So they shouldn't be too challenging. So we're gonna halt our experience gain for the time being. Now the orcs should be over here and we will also find the thornly, rock thornly. So here we have the orcs. And Thornley is held prisoner over here. Get it, Orc Slayer. And that's for Relent, I would say. Yeah. Now, let's see if we can get. Yeah, we did. Find weakness. That's great. A strong voice. God, we're discovering a lot of this. Response, Jesus, <laughs> we're getting swarmed with this. Let me check that really quick so I know what we are getting at. So, a strike with precise blow, this one should be easy enough. War cry as well, critical hits with critical strike. It's not too, not too many, but getting the critical hit is the long part or the difficult part. Why are you bothering me? Help at last! We must get out of here, quickly! I'll not be ignored! Please, you must help me! These orcs captured me while I was away from my farm on business. Please, help me escape! Okay... So I think this cave today is going to be really easy, as we have already cleared most of the orcs in the area. Let's start advancing the new dits we got. I think you should be good here, man. I think you can go on your own, yeah. I should be able to make it back to the farm on my own now. So from here. Um, okay, I will need to turn that quest in just a moment, but we're gonna take care of the orcs. So we need to kill two more grunts and two more scouts and prowlers. Where can we find more orcs for this quest? Which ones are the prowlers? This one. Okay. So. Let's do them all. Now that I got the Undying title, I'm not so worried about dying. So I think we can start getting a little bit more pressure with this. 
but really when in need just use shorty of that that's gonna get you out of trouble really easily we got a sword here better dps overall but i prefer the bonus to vitality so i'm not gonna take it and it's quite orcish looking so yeah definitely no now these leggings even though they are light armor they will give us more armor more bonuses so that's a win-win and yeah that's basically it so I think the time is coming near for us to end uh, today's episode let's just get back to Andrek and Thornleys to turn in all these quests and maybe we can call it a, a wrap for today because we still have time before we meet the one hour mark that I have set for the episodes but the last couple episodes we have went over it by a little bit, not too much five, six minutes but I think if we accept the quests from Andrek and Thornley and then go complete them we will go over the mark once again and I don't want to overdo it so maybe we can call this episode this episode's end a little bit shorter than usual let's see how can I be of service? The number of orcs pushing through Thrustle Bridge and other areas of beauty in the North Downs is disconcerting. We must not allow them to move beyond their current positions. We must do everything possible to end this threat here and now. What can this, I do for you? Fine leaves me, this fine leaves me more concerned than before. Still, our focus must remain here in Brilliant. There are lives to save here as well as in the north, and we must establish at least one bulwark against the orcs. Thank you for doing this, Veriathan. Would you do something for me? The outriders you dispatched were only the first of many foes that made their way into Breland from the north downs. I had hoped that the message to the, you delivered would have been clear enough to force some of the orcs back towards the north but they have organized well and built out a fort upon the western side of the Greenway. We need to drive them out of that area as quickly as possible. You will need to travel north again, I fear, this time crossing the Greenway and searching for the orc encampment called Kirit Nur. Strike at the heart of the orc forces there and we may yet break their will. Might I take a moment of your time? If we are to investigate Kirit Nur, then we should also do what we can about recovering the many supplies the orcs have received from raids and from the corrupt men who aim to assist them. You are sure to find the supplies neatly tucked away in crates, packed far differently than orcs would pack their provisions while marauding through the countryside. Collect the supplies and I will see that they are restored to the main of Rian Trestle Bridge. And now let's go to Rose Thornley. Here we are. I don't know anything, I'm sure. I'm so thankful you rescued Rob. He's rested now, but he asked me to give you a reward. He's also asked for something more. Could I have a word with you? Rob is resting now and recovering nicely thanks to you, but he asks another favor of you. He said he can't sleep thinking about those accursed orcs what ambushed him up at the Greenway. 
When he was captured, he said a large orc came over to, to torment him from a camp to the west from where he was being held, the one behind a wooden stocket. He says the other orcs called this monster the Red River. Rob says he must have his revenge on the Red River and will be glad to give you what coins he can spare if you can put him to heal. Now, I can't say as I like all this bloodshed and it sounds right dangerous to me, but if you'll show that horrible monster who tore to rob a thing or two, I guess you surely do deserve a reward. You have any other quest for me? No. And this guy over here, I'm not sure. Stay yeah. a moment. Great. We're gonna kill birds, but maybe we can sell some things in here. This car passes. This bow we cannot use. A brimstone we cannot use. A... These leggings. These other leggings. This shield. Uh, maybe save it for later. This shirt. The sword. Add the mushrooms. Jacket. And the boots. Okay, yeah. it's been a while since the last time we visited a merchant, so we we had a lot of cleaning up to do here. Perfect. So, yeah, I think this is a good place to hold the end of the episode. Uh, next time, we will venture north once again back to the orc encampment in the northern Briefields and finish clearing what needs to be cleared and afterwards we will be ready to move to Lonlands we're just gonna take care of the orcs and then we will go to Lonlands to continue our epic quest so that would be it for today just gonna stop by and bricks and then that's the place where we will resume the Citadel Guard action on next episode. Perfect, so yeah this seems as good a place as any to call it a wrap, so once again Thank you for watching Citadel Guard Adventures. I will see you on the next episode. Please leave a comment if you would like to see any changes applied on the channel. Subscribe if you like what you see here. Stay safe and take care. And I will see you on the next one.